everybody. I'm sorry you're sick in Albania, and I'm sorry it's taken us so long to get you guys some stories uploaded. But here we go. I'm going to read you one called Chicken in Mittens. I hope I don't cast a glare on that. Chicken in Mittens. I love you all so much. Zoe stepped out of the barn and so did her best pig, Sam. Fresh snow covered the farm. We can be explorers, said Zoe. It's cold, said Sam. Arctic explorers, said Zoe. There's Zoe. And Sam, a pig and a chicken. Wear your mittens, said Clara. Zoe and Sam wore their mittens. Not what I meant, said Clara. Where are we going, said Sam. To the North Pole, said Zoe. I think it's this way. Look where they put their mittens. They put them on their heads. That's not how you do it, is it? Right? And then they're going to go exploring to the North Pole. Off they go. There's a fence, said Sam, and a big hill. There might be yetis. Do you know what a yeti is? A yeti's a tent. Yep. Sounds like fun, said Zoe. Let's go. Where's she still got her mitten at, guys? Yeah, but you know what? Chickens don't have fingers, do they? No. Mm -mm. Sam caught up with Zoe at the fence. Now what, said Sam? Well, we can't go through it. You're right, said Zoe. So she wiggled underneath of it. There's Sam. And Zoe just wiggled right underneath the fence, didn't she? Yep. Sam wiggled under too, and he made it through, but his mitten got caught, and Sam didn't notice. And he rushed to catch it. Uh-oh, guess what happened when Sam wiggled under? His mitten got caught, and now what's happening to it? It's all coming unraveled, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, that's what happens when mittens get caught. That's a big hill, said Sam. We should have a small rest. But Zoe was already climbing, and so Sam climbed up right behind her. And there's Sam, and there's Zoe climbing right straight up the hill. It's a big hill. We had one like that in our driveway last year. Do you guys remember? You Rices remember coming to our house and climbing on that great big snow pile? It's a long way down, said Sam. I wish we had a sled. Well, we don't have a sled, said Zoe, but we do have a pig. I'm always the sled, said Sam. I'm better at steering, said Zoe. And look at Sam's mitten continues to unwind behind him. And now Zoe's going to ride the pig down the hill. That could be fun. Yahoo! Look at that! Flying pig. <laughs> now I'm colder, said Sam. Where's the North Pole? Well, let's ask the Yeti, said Zoe. A real Yeti, said Sam. Do they eat pigs? Probably not, said Zoe. Sam's pooped from riding down the hill, but Zoe thinks the Scarecrow is a Yeti. Maybe I'm wrong about a Yeti. Excuse me, Mr. Yeti called Zoe. Where's the North Pole? But the Yeti didn't answer. Why didn't he answer, guys? Are scarecrows live things? No. They're not alive at all. Zoe snapped the Yeti's toe. Whoosh! The snow slipped off. It's the scarecrow, said Sam. He's on the North Pole, said Zoe. And the snow comes tumbling down, right? They did their happy dance. We've made it, said Zoe. We can go home now, said Sam. He blinked. But how do we get home? Uh-oh, look at, now look at his mitten. What happened, guys? What happened? It came all undone, didn't it? All except for a tiny little piece. Well, you got an idea how they got home? Do you? We follow your string, said Zoe. Leaving it was a good idea, Sam. Well, I'm smart like that, said Sam. So let's go. So they see the string. And what did they do, guys? 
They just followed this string and went all the way home. The friends followed Sam's string over the hill and back to the fence. And there's home. Woohoo! Yep, there's the barn. Still snowing. Cheers, said Zoe. You're a great Arctic explorer. You too, said Sam. We're a perfect team. And that's the end. That was a cute book, wasn't it, guys?